Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devedi friends and I welcome you back to my video. In this video, I will be discussing with you Simon Commission friends. Simon Commission is a very important part of our pre-independence struggle, the Indian freedom struggle. You know, Simon Commission happened at a point, you know, when the Indian national movement was directionless, not much was happening at the ground level. So this is the English version of the video. If you are not comfortable in the english version of the video the hindi version i have already uploaded friends so you can go there and watch the hindi version of this video this is presented by me harshit devedi so first of all i will tell you the background in which the simon commission came then i will be tell you what outcomes it had what objectives it had what impact it made so moving forward friends see there was a thing named as diarchy this diarchy was introduced at the provincial level through the government of india act 1919 that is the montego chemsford reforms now what happened in the diarchy friends at the provincial level there were two lists transferred list and reserved list the reserved list consists of those subjects on which governor you know had the discretion to make laws and the transferred list was that list in which the they were answerable to the the provincial legislative assembly but obviously the subjects in the transfer list were very very less and not very much effective so effectively no power was given to indians okay so this thing i have in detail covered in my previous videos of modern history friends so kindly if you have not seen the previous video go back to the previous video you will have a very detailed understanding of what i am telling here okay friends now government of india act 1919 also had one provision and that provision said that after 10 years a commission will be formulated and the work of that commission would be to review the working and progress of this government of india act 1919 that will be the work of that commission will be set up 10 years after the formation of government of india act 1919 okay now by this logic that commission had to come in 1929 but lot of things were happening in the background first first of all the indians were too much pressurizing the british administration for giving them some effective power obviously the power which were given to indians was you know at the ground level it was nothing there was no indian control okay friends this diarchical form of governance was a farce because effectively no power was there with the indians almost every important power was in the hand of the britishers okay friends so indians for reform, you know calling for reforms for a very long time okay and this 1919 is basically 1929 so don't be confused by it also what was happening in britain that in britain that time government government was of conservative party now elections were coming after some time and this conservative party thought that there will be tough competition from the labor party okay now in order to bring it at an advantage the conservative party said okay let's fast track the process of the appointment of that commission that means the commission which was to come in 1929 according to the timeline given in government of india act 1919 they appointed in 1927 so the timeline commission was appointed in 1927 now this simon commission was having a lot of problem friends and the biggest problem of this simon commission was that there were all white members in it all british members in it and there was not a single indian in it so this was the biggest problem of this simon commission friends obviously you are making a commission for the constitutional reforms of india for the indian people and you are having no indian member in it so obviously it was very very you know pathetic and very very disliked by the indian people you can say it was a sort of insult to the indians So the Indians were saying that how can our destiny be determined by a group of British people? We are responsible for our destiny. We are qualified enough to make laws to suggest laws. There is no white member here. So there is no Indian member here. All white members. Also, the Secretary of State of India at that point of time, Lord Birkin had. He was responsible for the setting up of this commission. And when the deadlock will arrive at Simon Commission, you know, so Lord Birkin had will throw a challenge to the Indians that. can you draft a competition and that challenge will be accepted and motilal nehru report will come then and after that jinnya's 14 point will come you know these things i have covered in subsequent videos so kindly stay tuned to my channel friends you will get all these videos okay now there was one more member in this commission whose name was clement atley and this clement atley will become british prime minister after some time and at the time of indian independence and partition in 1947 clement atley will be the british prime minister and he would be the one sending lord mount batten to india to pass the indian independence act of 1947 also known by the name of mount batten act of 1947 so if the question comes that which british prime minister was a member of simon commission you know the answer friends okay 
and one more important thing the secretary of state of india at the time of summing commission was lord birkenhead okay now indians were obviously very angry for not being in the commission so indian national congress boycotted simon commission in all forms in every form in every in all forms and actually it publicly boycotted the commission at its madras session in 1927 muslim league led by mohammad ali jinnah also boycotted it but there was a certain faction of muslim league which was led by mohammad shafi this faction of muslim league supported the government on simon commission also there was a justice party of the south which decided to support the government on simon commission so there were two major factions one was the faction of muslim league headed by mohammad shafi and second was the justice party of the south which supported the government on this simon commission apart from it nobody other supported simon commission now the commission finally landed in india in february 1928 and it was it had a warm reception there were mass protest hartas black flag demonstrations all over the country at the you know the slogan that was prevalent at that time simon go back simon go back okay and obviously mass protests were uh, you know mass protest was organized all over the country okay and such a one such mass protest was happening in lahore and that was being led by lala lajpat rai and the superintendent of police at that point of time there was scott so scott gave our order to suppress the movement through lathi charge and brutal lathi charge was there in which lala lajpat rai was said to have a lot of injuries and it is said that he succumbed to these injuries after some time how it is not very much sure that this was the reason there is a dispute on it but popular uh, conception says this only okay also simon commission said that despite of the fact that we are having only white members in our team and no indian member is there it is not that we are not going to have a look at the indian conception they invited all the indian parties to give their suggestions and they said that we will incorporate the suggestions of all indian parties in our report this simon commission was saying but obviously maximum people had boycotted them so no suggestions were given however dr b r ambedkar submitted a report on behalf of bahishkrit hitkarni sabha for the education of depressed classes in bombay presidency to the simon commission now the simon commission after you know a lot of going here and there and lot of you know trying to pacify the indian national leaders and indian political parties finally it had its duty to submit its report so its report came out in 1930 and the recommendation of the simon commission was that the diarchy system of administration in the provinces will be abolished and in place of it representative governments will be established in provinces okay and this representative government prince you know uh, system was incorporated through the government of india act 1935 and elections provincial elections took place in 1937 this i will you know discuss in the later part of the video and also in government of india act 1935 okay friends also the simon commission recommended that separate communal electorates will remain until communal tensions had died out died down now at that point of time there was indian national congress was very much against the separate electorates muslim league was in favor of separate electorates you know b r ambedkar was see, seemed to be in favor of separate electorates so lot of these things were happening friends and obviously these separate communal electorates had to be removed friends because they were the sole cause of this communal tensions they were a major cause not the sole cause but a major cause of communal tensions so communal tensions will not go until you are you know trying to contain communism and by giving communal electors you are trying to spread communism propagate communism communalism so obviously this thing this was a basically basic policy of britishers to you know to uh, in seed hatred between the different communities so they did that here also also the governor was given discretionary powers to maintain internal security and different communities interest the numbers of provincial legislative council in the number of members in it were increased governor general was given the complete power to appoint the members of his cabinet and the one important government of india to have complete control over high court now it recommended that government of india should have complete control over high court high court is judiciary friends and judiciary should always function independent of executive and now it is saying that government of india should have a control over it so obviously this was wrong okay now many of the reforms suggested by simon commission were incorporated through government of india act 1935 and as i told you first provincial elections held in 1937 and many congress governments were set up in all the provinces and you will see that when the british 
will involve themselves in the second world war in 1931 and india and declare india to be a member then all the congress governments will resign from their position as a mark of protest now we look at the impacts and objectives of simon commission friends the biggest impact of simon commission was that the indian national movement that which at that point of time was very much directionless a direction was given to the indian national movement obviously friends at that point of time you know after non cooperation movement many things happened for example congress khilafat swaraj party was established and also you know revolutionary terrorist activities were coming on the hindustan republican association hindustan socialist republican association or army i have made videos on both of these things so you can go watch and them also friends so an organized indian national movement was missing and this simon commission gave an opportunity to start an another organized indian national movement also the one of the objective of simon commission was to widen the communal feelings to break the social fabric of india and it wanted to delay the process of providing powers of governance to indians that is indians having their control on their own affairs this process was delayed tried to be delayed through the simon commission and also provinces were given were being given more power more elections you know the uh, they were trying to propagate region, regionalism in provinces because if regionalism will come then obviously the national movement will go away the nationalism will weaken and in the national movement will weaken so this was also one of the objectives of simon commission so simon commission was you know friends almost bad in all aspects it you know basically tried to fool us nothing pro no proper concessions were given to us no proper control was given to us the only good thing was done was a diarchy was abolished but obviously you know by abolishing it regionalism was trying to being promoted which was also not good so uh, this is basically the important facts about simon commission friends in the upcoming video i will be discussing with you the hsra and uh, the other things like the motilal nehru report because when the simon commission was not being you know uh, discussed with the indian leaders then lord birkan had the secretary of state of india throw a challenge in front of indians that draft your own constitution and then the motilal nehru paper came and then the jinnah 14 point came so obviously these things delhi proposal also came so these things will be discussing in uh, you know upcoming video so if you like this video friends please subscribe to my channel and also you know you can tell me suggestions in the comment section and if you feel this video is helpful you can suggest it to your friends also so thank you for watching this video friends thank you for being patient have a very very nice day